So in this session, we will discuss about after insert. Uh, after insert trigger, we will discuss. So go to the employee table here and go to the triggers and here click on plus symbol here you can write the logic that means after inserting into the employee table what do you want okay so i want one logic that will be inserted into the employee audit table okay so insert into already we have written in before insert So insert into the employee underscore audit. What are the columns? These are the columns available in the employee audit. Here, new dot serial number, new dot EMP number, new dot E name, new dot salary, new dot created. So here I am going to truncate the tables. Avoid the confusion. Truncate table employees underscore audit. Okay, go to this. So no data available in these two tables. I'm going to insert. Series. So one, four, five, six, Satya, 20,000. Here, observe this. In before trigger, what will happen? E underscore serial number becomes zero. But coming to after trigger, after insert trigger. So after inserting into the employee table, these values are available. All these values are available in new modifier. OK, new modifier. So from that new modifier, we have taken one by one like uh, new dot serial number, new dot employee number, employee name, salary created. All these values are inserted into employee audit table. That's why here serial number was there. E underscore serial number one. OK, so remaining all the details. You can insert one more record. One, two, three. And uh, Sai one. 
if you insert this record then e underscore serial number becomes 2 okay so whatever the value in serial number in employee table that value will be moved to e underscore serial number in employee audit table okay like that so you can write uh, uh, one more business logic like if condition that means if exist select Employee audit table where e name equal to or employee number equal to new dot new dot emp number then begin and and if so what is this logic means if the employee number is already available in employee audit table then i don't want to insert it again okay we will test it whether it will work or not here these two records are available I am going to execute again this one, two, three employee number, then it should not be inserted into employee audit table. So one, two, three, sorry, one, two, three, sorry. So why it is happen? Sorry, exist. So not exist then only no so if it is the employee number is not available then only it has to be inserted otherwise it will not be inserted okay so i didn't put that condition not exist see uh, in this satya record is there so i am going to insert this statement that will not be inserted again in employee audit table. See this, that record, Satya record is not inserted. Here Satya record has been inserted, but it is not inserted here. Why? Because 456 already exist in employee audit table. So this type of conditions you can put. So you can write uh, whatever the business logic in available in uh, procedure. So whatever the business logic you can write in trigger okay but uh, you should not write uh, it is better not write more logic in trigger why because suppose you are going to insert frequent data in uh, employee table then it will take time to execute that complex logic okay it is better to maintain simple logic in triggers. Okay. For second, suppose uh, consider a situation like uh, for every second that employee table for every second. Oh, just take one example. For every second, 10 records will be inserted. Okay. That means 10 times this after insert trigger will be fired. Okay. So it is not recommended. So if you write the more business logic in triggers, then it will take time to execute that logic. That's why it is better to maintain simple logic in triggers so that it will not take much time to execute. Okay. 
so that is my suggestion